be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Great crowds are traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king, marching into battle, would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The words of the Lord is just like a rich mine, dauminahansya, that upon us discovering it, it may be kind of we felt dangerous. We felt kind of hesitant because there will be others who will be nga gusto kohaon. Jesus' teachings reveals different layers and layers of new ways of thinking and living. Sometimes it really hurts even to our souls. As we incorporate some aspects of the gospel into our hearts and minds, there is still another layer waiting to be mined. It cannot in the sufficient that we stay on that, on that same level. At, as God wanted us to transcend ourselves pakad tugid sa iya nga magapalapit kag magalapit palapit kita sa iya Jesus has been teaching us about the invitation from God which requires us to answer accepting his invitation takes us into the light or our refusal would take us into the darkness and even death for those who accept, the rewards are great. And so is the cost. Discipleship is a serious commitment. It is a matter of testing the waters or holding back. It is a call to complete surrender to God. In today's gospel, Jesus presents another layer of his instruction about the new way of life. And he is inviting us to live in that new way of life. It is a hard truth on the cost of discipleship. Naturally, we wonder how anyone could think that hating his father or mother wife, children, brothers, sisters, and even his own life would be a good and loving 
thing to do. But for the world, it would be foolish. Jesus uses this harsh kind of and sounding audacious language not to tell us to abandon our family and loved ones or stop loving and serving them, but to underscore the fact that not even the sacredness of the family, family loyalty can take priority over following him as the Decalogue or the Ten Commandments and the two, the two commandments of Jesus is saying, love God above all things. With all your mind, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. Jesus goes on to say that we must also carry our own cross and follow him. Or we cannot be his disciples. This language can become familiar to us. We know we must carry our cross. We ourselves should carry our own crosses. When we think deeply about that, this really means, however, we find another layer of what total commitment would mean. When crucifixion was used to execute people, in Jesus' time, the one carrying the, his cross was literally picking up and carrying the means to his own death. Nakita man, dapat mamatay man sa atun kaugalingon. Dapat ma, ma crucify man. Ilan sang man sa krus. And that would be foolishness for the world. The cross was itself the instrument on which he would die. The victim has to pick it up. In doing so, he was committing to his death. There was no turning back. He knew that his life was now no longer his own and he had no power over it. These are also the words of St. Paul. We are not literally carrying, carrying the cross, but Jesus telling us to be counted among his disciples, to take up his cross to up to his inner conviction. That we are dead to ourselves and alive only for Jesus. Everything is for God. Our new life is entirely to Him, in Him. Making that commitment in Christ. And we essentially pick up the, the means to death of our old self and become a new creature in Christ. There can be no turning back. No hand on the plow while turning to look back. No lingering about to bury the dead. We must go all the way with Jesus and to Jesus alone. As he gave himself totally for us, he expects to give ourselves totally for him. This is clearly a huge commitment. So Jesus counsels us, advises us to count the cost. Tanawa anay sang maayo. Binagbinaga anay. Isipa anay sang maayo. Sit down. Calculate the cost. Just as we would if we are considering building a tower or marching into a battle. If we choose to follow Jesus, we'll have to renounce all our possessions. We must be willing to give up 
everything for Christ. Now, we can see our priority. This does not mean that we must literally get rid of everything. It does not mean that we must become perfect before we can say yes to God. Hindi kinahanglan perfecto kagid. We do not have to clean up our lives before we can come to Jesus. That would be like washing ourselves before we take up a bath. But choosing to follow Jesus with this kind of all-in commitment means cooperating with Him to our transformation of our lives. Commitment nga ang imu focus dira gid sa iya. It doesn't mean nga limpyo gid kita. It is as if we own a house and we give Jesus the full ownership of the house. We do not have to remodel the house before we give it to Him. But once we do, we come in and start tearing down the wall and fixing things up. In other words, being a disciple means that we are ready and willing for remodeling to begin in ourselves. And that would be, seems challenging, painful, and we, this suffering would set in. Because Jesus, the life of Jesus is like that as well. Renouncing things which are not necessary for the salvation of the soul. There is no way that any of us can agree so, so such total renunciation unless we first have an encounter with love of Jesus Christ. In as many ways as there are people, Jesus engages <clears throat> in a personal encounter with us without experiencing His supernatural love for us, it would make no sense to decide to be His disciple. In the first reading, St. Paul speaks about various commandments that shapes the Christian life. All of it stems from love itself, the love of God has for us. Paul tells us that indeed love is the very fulfillment of the law. God has loved us first. Filled with His love, we can respond with love. Empty ourselves in love and continue to journey and serve in love as we commit ourselves to Christ each day. Very challenging full of treasures but how can we make up for that treasure do we really admire do we really wanted to take it to be our own it cost everything for us please rise let us come to god the father that we may follow christ consistently and be able to respond to the demands of the dis of discipleship as we say lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer that the pope the bishops and priests may continue to show forth true discipleship let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may lay aside trust in material possessions and find our true strength in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not turn our back on suffering, but may accept the crosses that come our way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who carry crosses 
of physical, mental, or spiritual anguish may learn to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends who have carried Christ's cross in this world may now enjoy eternal happiness in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God our Father, you know many different needs we have in this life. Give us courage to take up our crosses and follow in the footsteps of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. 